Do women prefer to be monogamous with a low value man or share a high value man? Well, look at look at society and you tell after everything that I've learned, they would rather share the man because at least they get the status. Women now want the same status as men. They just also want the husband like status, just like the husband wants the wife like like incredible status. So many women are probably gonna be like, I don't mind sharing the man. This is what it comes with, so I'd rather just share the man. Whereas the low value man, it can cause stress, it can cause problems, it's just it's too much of the unknown. Really just the stress of it all of not having that financial security, which honestly ruins relationships in the long run. But it's like being with a high value man, he's gonna be sleeping around like Andrew Tate. It's not really something that you want either. Shoot, rather just die alone, I guess, maybe to an, an extent. I feel like someone would insert that point as well because it's like, I don't want to stress forever, but I also don't want to stress forever in the fact that my husband not even my husband. He signed a contract to be my husband, but he's not mine, you know? Monogamous. Ask me. Wait, so so let's ask let's ask the, the single ladies. What would you prefer? I would prefer someone who's monogamous. I left a situation where I got the Bentley, I had all that, I had the kids, I had that. That was great. I want a companion. I want real love. And to me, what monogamy means to me is someone who's committed to themselves. Mm -hmm. That's like... The answer is within you. And to be honest, I feel like, again, like the sex has been lost in translation and what it means. I don't care, man or female. It's been lost. as It's so sacred. So for me, I have mm -hmm. kind of taken those blinders off where I'm like, okay, he has to be here. I'm okay with dating the trainer in Austin, Texas. That's just where I'm at. Like, I don't need a certain thing because I know what I'm wanting. Mm -hmm. Most guys in that percentage. I think because she's experienced it. From what I just put together, just a little bit of what she's saying, she experienced it. She didn't like it. So now she wants the regular Mark, regular John. She had to chat in Tyrone. She got used and abused by them and was just like, okay, this is kind of not like the life that I want to live. This kind of sucks like hell because I'm sleeping in bed with another two or three other girls and I did not ever want to do this. She wants monogamy now that she's experienced the other side is just like the grass is not green over there it's actually dried up and dirty and bad are not gonna give me so i would rather have a monogamous man than someone what who if, can do whatever all women, wait, so, all, no, wait, so you think the personal trainer is gonna be monogamous they're like known for cheating no well i, I mean that's an example i think she just means like a like a regular type type of guy but here's here's yeah. my thing. Like I get it. Like yeah. I, I don't generalize people because I'm one of the one of the most misunderstood people online as well. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's a lot more to me. And I don't like to just put everyone in a box. I'd like to get to know people. So no, I'm not gonna just say, oh, well, he, he, of course he's gonna cheat on me. Like no. Okay, okay. Would you would you take a guy that makes thirty five thousand dollars a year and had a dad bod? <sighs> had a dad bod? Yeah. Dad bod. I feel like for me, I would want someone who. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. Um. I pour into myself, mm -hmm. and I'm accountable for my shit. I'm aware of what I got going on. I'm not going to have no. a, a mom bod. No. I'm in the gym. I'm, I had a baby a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. I'm in the gym four to five times a week. Mm -hmm. So I would want someone who can match at least the, the work ethic. Now, when it comes to money, I know for me, I want to be able to... I do not want to rely on a man. I have, I have literally done that before. Mm -hmm. It didn't pan out in my favor, okay? Because what happens is you get the rug ripped from under you, and then now you fucking get out, bitch. Give me the motherfucking keys. It, it, is, it isn't that. Mm -hmm. So for me, the lifestyle I want, I am responsible for. Mm -hmm. So I don't look for a man to make X amount of dollars mm -hmm. because anything that I want, I'm going to get myself. Well, because in my head, I feel like a guy's just as likely to cheat if he's in the top 20% of, like, looks. You're just as likely as okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't... Right. Let, me, let, let, me ask, let me ask a quick question just so I can clarify something, because I understand your points. You're saying you want a partner, a life partner. Are you sure, and I'm not accusing, I'm genuinely asking, are you sure you're not confusing the amount of time the man spends with you with his monogamy? Because they're different things. Because what happens a lot of the time if a man's out here chasing chicks, he's barely home. But imagine you had a man who was home seven nights a week. He was always home. I'm talking about like an hour. Like dur during his work lunch, you don't even notice. <sighs> then would you even give a shit about monogamy if you had all of his time effectively? Would you really care? I still would care because I, I feel like it's still just an hour a day. And we're not, it's not really quality time. I feel I really have been in so many different situations. Again, the trainer in Austin to the NBA player, baby daddy. Like I, I have seen all of that stuff. And this is my personal experience and perspective to where I want someone that sees the value in the Grand Canyon. I want somebody who. I understand. Okay. Like, so, so that's a good point. And that's, so I'll just ask the first question. I'm going to ask the second okay. question. The realization you've come to is an interesting one. It is something that happens, especially to, to females as they mature. Don't you think it's strange or why do you think that zero women on earth 
choose those kind of men who they perhaps have slightly lower status but are, are more likely to be uh, loyal to them, be monogamous, the etc. In the modern world, because like I said, the world's changed, why do you think zero women choose them when they're at the peak of their choices? So when a woman is 19 and mm. she can go anywhere she wants, every man wants her, she can go on any yacht in Miami, she can get flown out to Dubai, when she has all the choices in the world, why is she completely uninterested in those kind of men? And then when she gets to a certain age of maturity and all there's a whole new generation of girls who have all the choices, then they sit there and go, you know what? I deserve monogamy and da-da, and they all of a sudden want to grow up and mature. Why, don't, does, why does no woman decide that when she actually is at her most valuable? I, I feel like for, like I said, I don't... I think it goes back to the home. When your mom and dad are at home and you see like a happy, a happy healthy relationship and you just hear both sides, when you're dating in the dating room, you know, a woman tends to look for a father, a man, uh, a boy tends to look for like his mother. And when you have... God willing, two great parents, you'll see that beauty is only skin deep. I feel like this generation of women, this generation and generations coming up, they just don't have both parents in the household to see, well, now this is your this is your prime. This is when you start looking for a lover, for a forever, a forever potential mate. This is when you start doing it. And it's not only about the looks. You know, the looks are going to fade. 30, 35, 40, 45, you're going to start getting the wrinkles. It's going to start looking a type of way. You got to look deeper. And you get that, that kind of wisdom, that that blessing of wisdom from having two parents in the household. It, it comes back to the home. It, it really something that is the parent's job to do. Will the world corrupt them a little bit? A little bit. You know, maybe a lot of it. It happens. But... You know, that's why you train up a child in the way they should go. That, those formative years in their middle elementary preschool childhood like days, from the time they come out the womb to the time they really start to be like, I'm independent, I can do things on my own. You have to teach them. When it comes to relationships like this, the dad bod is not the worst thing. Hairline, whatever, it is not the worst thing. Characteristics of good character. These are things that you want in your future significant other, your spouse, your husband or wife to have these great qualities that God willing should ideally find in your prime, which is your 20s. And then, you know, you build your life and you start. If you don't get in this time, it'll be okay. It's whatever. Like I said, I don't like to speak for all women. I just speak for myself. But I know for me that I was looking for a man for a lifestyle, something that I was not able to do individually by myself. So that's why it's like, well, yeah, I want to be able to do this, do that. I want to go for the football player that was just on GQ. And in reality, now I realize, well, okay, there's a lot that comes with that. I can make my own money. I don't necessarily need that type of guy for the happiness that I'm looking for. Again, seeing out even the Grand Canyon is a lot different than like, okay, here's money for this, here's allowance for that. And well, that's an hour of my time. As you asking why a man that is 20, 21, 23 is not a top G, like a 30, 40 year old well, man. No, uh, your, your age actually dictates your sort of maturity to a large extent. Well, I'm, argu I'm arguing the point. The point I'm trying to make is that what I actually think happens, especially. Uh, in the modern world, because the modern world's all fucked up and nothing's the way it's supposed to be. The traditional life path of, of a female is she's 17, she's 18, she's 19, and her value is massively inflated. And I don't blame her. Of course it's massively inflated. Imagine being 19 years old, have achieved exactly fucking zero in your life, knowing nothing. You put makeup on and, and sports stars, billionaires, actors, the most important famous Biology. people on the planet, the richest men on the planet are begging for your attention. The ego you're going to develop, let's all be honest, right? The ego you're going to develop is going to be mon you fucking mental. I'm special. I'm so gorgeous. All this bullshit, right? And then what happens as they grow older, as new generations come along, because the truth is most women are, are, are at their peak attraction, let's say in their early 20s. As they grow older, what, they, what women become is far more fearful of competition. This is why you'll see a woman who's a bit older go, oh, you know, I really want monogamy. What she's scared of is her dude getting a 21-year-old. That's what she's fucking scared of. She may not know it. She may not say it. But basically, that's what the truth is because she knows a 21-year-old is going to be more desirable, higher status, more fertile. That's what she's scared of. Cheating so when is woman, bad when you're 30 or so, 20, sir. So No, but I'm not, it's not about that. I'm telling you the, the, the shift in the female mentality because when a female is 20, she doesn't give a fuck about any of this. She doesn't want to find a nice man. Now she's trying to, like you're saying, chasing a lifestyle, chasing Mr. Promiscuous, chasing Mr. Famous. Doesn't give a shit until she starts getting scared. Oh, shit. Uh, my, my age begins with three now. And then they change. Their mentality changes. It's a fear element. That's can the reality. I, and I it's a biological that? fear element. I'll give you an example of it. You know what's amazing about humans? We are still very primal. If when, when men like these two and me, when we walk through the mall, 
people just move. It's like you can sense when you can sense when the big animals turn up, right? It's something amazing about humans. If you have a very attractive 45-year-old woman, she's gorgeous, but a gorgeous 19-year-old walks in, look at that 45-year-old woman's face. She's furious. She fucking hates her. She just doesn't like her for no reason. Yeah. Because women understand, un un unfortunately, unfortunately, but you're innately, your age is a massive indicator in your value. In an inverse way to men, men are more valuable as we get older. Every man, every woman knows that. Every woman will sit here and go, yeah, I want an old man who's older than me. Of course. But if, we, if I say it the other way around, I'm misogynistic. It's just the reality of the world. So, so then we have to go into the other point. The point is this. When you were at your peak value, you had zero interest in monogamy. But then you find a man who's 35 at his peak value. He's finally struggled and worked because when he was 19, no girl spoke to him. When he was 23, he was broke. When he was 24, he had no life experience. When he was 25, he couldn't fuck. When he was 20, whatever. He finally gets to the point where he's now at his peak value. He at 35 is you when you were 19. And then you're sitting there saying to him, no, you should be a monogamous. Da -da. It's like, well, you fucking weren't. You did whatever you wanted in your peak. Now I'm finally got there. And I had to work for my shit. God gave you you. God and L'Oreal gave you you. I had to fucking struggle. I had to go through hell to get on this yacht. You got on the yacht with an Instagram DM. I had to buy it. And now you're telling me I need to fucking settle down and, and behave and grow up? Fuck well, you. Because it's bullshit. You're assuming that the journey is a man that starts with nothing to something because there's a lot of men that, that have That is exactly the, the journey of every man on earth. We are born without well, men. Do you, ah, do you think so there's, there's specificity in that. Can I just because that's not how it should be you, for everybody you, and that's not how it is for everybody and not for every woman either as well, may I just say. Can I ask Brittany something, please? Yeah. Um, for every top man, or for any man who even gets to like even just a hundred k type status, like you had to work very hard to get there. That is just the truth, and it's usually a lot harder than a woman to get to that status, especially like in comparison to a very pretty woman. Pretty women can get a lot before the age of twenty five if very smart and very conniving, just very smart on how they move. They can get a lot, but a man. The, the hard work, even from lower, lower level, it's not nice to say, but like lower level men, they still have to work hard just to get to 60, 70, 80K. A lot of men are not going to hit Andrew Tate, Bill Gates level. So a lot of them are working hard just to make decent income at like 70, 80, 90K. And then by the time, which a lot of men eventually in order, like their older age, they will get to maybe... Maybe sometimes they don't get to 100K, but, you know, the few that I know, they got to 100K in, like, their 60s, 70s, maybe 50s. It took a very long time to get there, whereas a woman, if she played correctly, she could have really got with a guy who's making maybe 200, 300, 400, 500 million a year just because she was so pretty and she caught him at her prime when she was, like, 21.